Here is the electronic version of the traditional paperback or hardcover book. Just like a regular book, it can consist of text, image, or both. It can be read on computers, mobile phones, e-reading devices such as the Kindle, and tablet computers including the iPad, as we'll learn in this lesson. In order to read electronic books or e-books on the iPad, you have to install the iBooks app from the App Store. The App Store icon is on your home screen. Once you have the iBook app installed, you can start downloading and reading e-books. All the books you download appear inside the iBook app. This is called the bookshelf view. However, if you don't like sorting through your books on a bookshelf, you can also change the view so your books are listed by title, author, or category. To do this, tap the button with the three lines to the left of the edit button on the upper right hand side of the screen. This is the list view. At the bottom of the screen, you can choose how to sort your books. Right now, we have ours sorted by title. You may also sort them by purchase date, authors, or categories. You can also rearrange your books in the bookshelf view by hitting the edit button and then tapping and holding on the book you want to move. If you want to remove a book from the bookshelf, tap the edit button, then tap the book you want to delete. A check mark will appear on the book and tap the delete button. You can organize your books in the iBooks app by collections. You can also organize them by genre or subject. Tap the collections button at the top left of the screen. You'll see that there are already three collections created. Books for all the titles, PDFs, and purchased ones that you have on your iPad. Tap new to create a new collection. Type in a name for that collection. Then tap done. To move a book to a collection, go to the bookshelf view, then tap the edit button. Tap the books you want to move and a check mark will appear on them. Tap the move button in the upper left hand corner. To begin to read a book, Tap on a book on your bookshelf to open the book. To turn to the next page, place your finger on the page you want to turn and swipe it to the left, much like if you were using just a finger to flip a page in a book. To turn to a previous page, place your finger on the page and swipe it to the right. To jump to a different page in the book, tap the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of the page. You can then type a word you're looking for in the book or a page number and jump right to the page. If you're reading a book and want to refer to the table of contents, tap the button with lines on it. It's located on the left hand side of the book and to the right of the library button. It takes you directly to the table of contents. Tap the resume button to go back to where you were in the book. You can also add bookmarks to your ebooks to mark certain places you want to read again or to remember where you left off. To add a bookmark, tap the bookmark button on the far right hand side of the screen. It's to the right of the magnifying glass and looks like a bookmark. When you tap it, a red bookmark will appear. To view all your bookmarks, or to go back to where you placed a bookmark, go to the table of contents and tap bookmarks. It takes you right to the page that you put your bookmark on. You can also highlight sections of text and make notes in your ebook.
To highlight text, press your finger on the area of text where you want to start to highlight. Then drag it across the text. You'll see the text is highlighted in yellow. Release your finger when you're finished. You can also press on the text until a rectangular magnifying glass appears. Release your finger and hit hi and select highlight. You may change the different colors of highlighting. You can also select note using this method and add a note. When you tap note, a yellow virtual sheet of paper appears where you can type in your note. The text where you place the note will be highlighted in yellow and there will be what looks like a yellow post-it note in the side margin. In some books, you have the ability to change the way the text looks. If you tap the button that has the little a and the big a on it to the left of the magnifying glass, this is your font button. You can tap this button to change the font. If you tap on the big a, it makes it larger. If you tap on the little a, it makes it smaller. You can also change the type of font that you want. You can change the background for the words. Or you can change how you view your words. You can do a scrolling view or the book view. If you turn on scrolling view, you'll scroll through your pages. You can also change the brightness of your page by using the slider. Reading newspapers and magazines on the iPad is unlike any other electronic device that you may have. It's that much better. In fact, it's the closest you'll get to actually holding the magazine or newspaper in your hand. Now there are different ways you can go about reading newspapers and magazines on your iPad. First, you can download apps for individual magazines and newspapers that offer apps for download. There is also the Zeno app that offers different publications such as Rolling Stone, Newsweek, National Geographic, to just to name a few. With this, you can buy subscriptions or just a single use. You also can use the newsstand app that is on your iPad. It looks a lot like your bookshelf. All you do is tap on a publication to read it. You can also tap the store button on the right to look for magazines and newspapers, much like you did for the books in the iBook store.